video conferencing and virtual classroom are two significant modes of synchronous communication. They are very important in online learning. What is video conferencing and what is virtual classroom? Let us see in this module. Our objectives will be like this. After going through this module, learners will be able to define video conferencing. Learners will be able to discuss features of video conferencing. Learners will be able to define virtual classroom. Learners will be able to explain features of virtual classroom. Let us see what video conferencing is. Let us start with the definition. Video conferencing is a live connection between individuals in separate locations for the purpose of communication, usually involving audio and often text as well as video. As its simplest, video conferencing gives transmission of static pictures and text between two areas. As it's more refined, it gives transmission of full motion video pictures and high quality audio between multiple locations. So we have seen from this definition that whenever people are at two or more different locations, they get connected with each other. When they get connected, they transmit audio and most importantly visuals. This visuals include video inputs. Whenever videos getting transmitted, we say that this is video conferencing. As I mentioned earlier, in video conferencing, two or more locations get connected to each other, can talk to each other, can exchange ideas, discuss, ask questions, give answers, give responses, show some motion pictures or show some static pictures. Either you can display some photographs, you can also run a clip, a video clip during this video conferencing and discuss about this clip. Students can also present their projects through such video conferencing. You can conduct vivas through video conferencing. So many things are possible in online environment through video conferencing. Let us see what are features of video conferencing. From its definition, we have already learned that in video conferencing, there are exchange of images, audio and visuals. So virtual experts can communicate through video conferencing with learners. Learners can access this video lectures from anywhere but synchronously because listening to experts and asking them questions is also expected here. The way experts and learners get connected to each other via video conferencing, two, three classrooms can be connected to each other. For example, if a particular expert is delivering a session from one campus, other two, three campuses or other two, three institutions can get connected and access the same session. Because we can reach to many campuses, many institutions, many learners, we can say that learning can be optimized via video conferencing. How virtual classrooms are different than video conferencing? In video conferencing, we are talking about exchange of images, visuals, video clips, audio inputs. But in classroom, other than this kind of delivery and discussion, many things happen. What all happens in virtual classroom? Virtual classroom is an exact replica of our real classroom. Just visualize how your classrooms are. Your classrooms have boards to write. Your classrooms have presentation facility. Your classrooms have students and teachers sitting together, knowing each other, talking to each other. We may have some display boards also. In real classroom, students raise hands and teachers decide who should first speak, whom should they answer. So there is some monitoring going on only because there are several students. Exactly the same things are possible in virtual classrooms. Here also classroom like sessions are possible but over internet. Delivering of content is there, asking questions is there but everything is of course online in virtual classrooms. Let us see features of virtual classroom. Basically, virtual classroom is a synchronous mode of communication. All learners and teachers log in simultaneously in that virtual classroom environment. There is flexibility of place, but not flexibility of time. 
we all need to log in at the same time but we can log in from different different places whiteboard is a very important feature of virtual classroom whiteboard is an area on which teachers and learners can type draw or share presentation teachers can even share their entire computer desktop for example if you are teaching a particular software or if you want to show a video or show a particular application you can share your desktop with students and students can see teachers desktop if you are asking learners to present their project their work their assignment you can use the same technology you give control to learners now there may be many learners logged in at the same time control is always with the teacher which can be handed over to learners i mentioned that in real classroom learners raise hand here also there is raise hand tool and teacher can give control to the learner who is raising hand so learners can come online ask questions write something on the whiteboard and teacher can respond to the learner so sharing resources also becomes another feature of virtual classroom teachers can simultaneously send some files to learners which learners can download from their end again it can be vice versa learners can also share their files with teachers because virtual classrooms are very systematic platforms in which you can see teachers video you can see learners chats text messages they can share online synchronously and whiteboard area where teachers presentation slides can be visible where teacher can write desktop can be shared the entire virtual classroom session can be recorded and it becomes a huge resource so if all online sessions virtual classroom sessions are recorded those can be uploaded in the resources and any learners can access those in number of times even other learners can access this material if all virtual sessions are uploaded as open education resources